Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about upsampling. Not really as it relates to electronics and video, but upsampling your room. That's what we're going to talk about today. So we have digital upsampling for audio and video. You see it all the time. Um, we get a certain uh, resolution of source. We want to increase it. So we upsample. Sampling is uh, a term for the digital domain. Remember we started at 44, 96, 192. 4K for video, 8K video now. We have a new 8K screen in our studio and it's dramatic. That's <laughs> the only words I can say for it. I mean, it's, it's way, it's 50% better than 4K. So it's, it's definitely something. And I guess it'll push the envelope even higher. That's probably how it'll, it'll go. So what we're trying to do here is we want to upsample our room. We want to increase the resolution of our room just like we do with an audio and a video signal. So upsampling the room is our goal. We want to hear more, have less noise, and see more. And we do that with less noise too. Just a little aside here on our new 8K screen. I bought a different power cable than came, come with the unit. And I can't believe the difference in noise on the screen. And noise is manufactured in a lot of different ways uh, in the in digital world these days. And you can see it in colors and stuff on the screen. But I'm going to attribute uh, the cable to lowering the, the noise floor, so to speak, for the screen. Because it was a dramatic improvement for three or $400. So definitely worth the cost there. So the digital domain, it's much easier than the analog. I mean, if we're doing with ones and zeros, we can manipulate a lot of that data electronically. But in the analog domain in a room, it's all about type, amount, and position of the treatment that we're going to use. And treatment's passive. You don't plug it in. It's not active. So it's an analog domain. Now, any kind of treatment we start in a room must start with low frequency management. You have to, because that's the source of all the problems. Just like the garbage truck outside is the source for all the noise that wakes you up early in the morning, low frequencies are the problems that plague everything. Middle, high frequency, harmonic. So we got to get the lows correct first. That's the goal. Most of the time, it takes about 50% coverage on a surface area. You got an eight foot wall, it's about five feet that you got to cover in order to really have an impact on modal structure. Putting a unit here in the corner, putting a unit there, it's not going to solve the problem of the whole wall. And you got to have enough surface area coverage. Tap, type, amount, and position. You got to have the right kind, you got to have the right amount, and you got to put it in the right place. With low frequency management, we basically have to wrap the room in low frequency management because it's the whole room. Proper rate and level of absorption, you got to go low enough and get enough. And that's what 95% of the products in the marketplace, especially boxes filled with building insulation, can't do. Even if they want to, they can't. The material types will not let the product perform that way. So they might go low enough, but they'll never get enough. Reverb, same thing with reflections. We got about a 50% coverage, surface area coverage that we have to in order to Get the reverb, the reflection issues managed correctly. Pressure and reflections, those are the only two things that we have in a room to deal with. It's not, it's not that difficult when you start thinking pressure and reflections. Now, there's lots of subcategories under each of those, and that's where the confusion lies. People even confuse those two. A little challenge. Buy four of our ACDA units or four of our carbon units. Put them on the front wall behind your speakers for you two-channel guys. You won't believe the difference. It'll be the equivalent of new speakers and maybe a new amplifier. Treat the sidewalls, it'll be new speakers and a new amplifier. Trust me. Upsample your room. Start with the low frequencies first and work your way up. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. 
We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.